Hello, this is Mike Lyle, and welcome to Introduction to Java. And uh, today we're starting our first lesson, and it's very exciting because Java is such a rich language. It is absolutely the number one computer language out there, so it uh, beats, uh, as far as number of users, anyone that I know. Uh, of course, you know there's a big following in India as well, and a lot of developers doing not just Java there, but also Adobe Flex Builder, Flash Builder, which we'll be uh, dealing with in this course as well. This is just an introductory course. There are many courses to follow. We're actually going to do an extensive tour of Java. But for this particular course, the uh, items we're going to look at are introduction types, variables, and operators, more types and methods and conditions, loops and arrays, objects and classes, access control, and scope packages, Java API, design, debugging interfaces, and uh, inheritance, exception, and file input output. Uh, just a few acronyms to keep in mind. API means application programming interface. I.O. stands for input output and UI my favorite stands for user interface. Now if you want to know if Java is used for much more than just programming you can believe it. Java is a very rich language that is used in all types of media not just uh, websites or movies or Blu-ray but also micro devices and chips so it embeds in many types of devices and that's one of the reasons it's so popular. I mean as opposed to some uh, programming languages, Java is cross-platform, and that's the big word. I mean, uh, people uh, in the 90s should have gotten the clue that the successful computer languages, the successful platforms, would be those platforms which were cross-platform. And you can see also uh, one of the successes of Adobe Flash and Flash is the fact that it is cross-platform. runs on Linux, Macs, Windows, so does uh, Java. Just a real quick introduction here. Java originally was kind of formatted after C, so it's very C-like. It is a general purpose programming language, uh, such like C and Pascal and Python. Uh, basically more complex than Python, but uh, less complex than C++. Any program can be written in Java. Of course, you know, programs that you write have a tendency to be optimized towards certain things. So if you want to write a, a very flashy look environment, use Flash. But if you want to write something that's very functional and uh, can be embedded, you might do that in Java. It's very scalable, and like I said, it runs on cell phones, PCs, and embedded devices. Now, this course is a little bit different than the courses I've taught in the past. There's a lot of very good resources that we'll be using. We're actually going to be going through the uh, MIT uh, OpenCourseWare site. So uh, I want you to go to this link right here and go ahead and download the, uh, the course that we're going to be going through. So I'm going to click on that and show you what that is. So if you don't know about this resource, it's a wonderful resource. It is MIT Open Course, where there's tons of engineering scientific courses on this site. And we'll be looking at the Java course. This is 6092, Introduction to Programming in Java. And it's very simple just to download this entire course to your uh, hard drive. Go ahead and do that for me. Go over here to the Downloads page and click on Download Course. And when you do that, just hit Start Download. And that's going to download right to your drive. Unzip it. And then when you unzip it, you're actually going to see a little Start menu. And you click on that, and you can uh, run the course. Let me do that for you right now. So I've unzipped it, and I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And this is 609, I believe, January 2010. So let's go there. And just hit the Start button here, the little uh, Firefox icon or Explorer icon, depending on which one you're using. And when you do that, your course will come up, and it looks just like the page on MIT. Isn't that nice? And here's your syllabi, and here's your lecture notes, and here's your assignments. So we're going to be starting off with the lecture notes today, going to the first PDF, and we'll be running through that PDF through the first uh, few uh, videos on YouTube. Well, in addition to the open course software and going through the lecture notes, there are a ton of other resources that we'll be using. Uh, one thing, we'll be using Eclipse to do all our programming in. Woohoo! And you expect that from me because I'm an Adobe Flash Builder fanatic and we'll be using Eclipse for all our work. So I want you to go to Eclipse and download that. So let's click on that link real quick. So here's the Eclipse download page and you want to go ahead and download the IDE for Java developers. So get that on your system and unzip it. Follow directions there. Now actually there's a video later on given by Bucky. I may point that out to you. There's another resource down here we'll be talking about. Bucky's videos, and he tells you how to basically install uh, Eclipse, but it changes. I mean, Eclipse is changing, and uh, and so you need to make sure uh, if the video uh, doesn't keep up with the changes, then make sure you go back and just follow directions on the page. But it's fairly easy to install, uh, and when you install it, it's fairly easy to run. And I've actually done previous videos on installing Eclipse. I won't do that here. Uh, but what I am going to do is start using it, so you'll get all that. From so once Eclipse is installed, I want to tell you about one of the best, I think, video YouTube series I've ever seen on Java, and that's done by a gentleman called Bucky. 
and Bucky has a, a huge number of uh, Java tutorials. We'll actually be going through those as we as we hit the MIT information. So you'll actually get a course that's even better than MIT's course. You'll get Bucky's videos, you'll get my videos, and you'll get all the MIT information as well. So let's go to one of Bucky's videos right now. Let's click on this. And so we're on Bucky's YouTube site right now, and it's called The New Boston. And along with his uh, videos on the playlist here, you can see there's just tons of Java tutorials, and he does a great job. So yet again, one of the best resources I've seen on YouTube. No reason for me to reproduce this. So I'm going to give you more of a top level, the MIT stuff, and some great application building. Hey, let's go back and see what else Bucky does and what you need to do today. And he's going to cover uh, basic installing Eclipse. Uh, hello world, variables, uh, user input, simple math, and incrementation. And I've actually got a number of programs that I've written as well that we'll be covering. And so you can get those downloads from my site as well. Uh, finally, you got the MIT assignment at the very end of this course. So I want to make sure you do that assignment. So if you watch all these videos and do all these assignments and work along with Bucky's code and my code as well, you are going to be an expert Java programmer by the end of all this. Uh, a few... Uh, References that you might want to pick up. There's uh, actually the MIT courseware site. I want you to go to that and just see a wonderful thing that MIT is just giving free to the public. You know, you really got an educational institution doing what it's supposed to do. I actually listed four of their uh, Java courses that you can download. And the first one is the one that we're using. So make sure you zero in on that site and download that. And of course, there's like three other Java sites. If you don't get enough Java in that second one, there's, there's a bunch listed here below. And uh, Tons of resources on the web. I mean, Java is very rich, and we're going to cover every aspect that we can. So just hang on. This is a super series, and I'm excited about teaching it as well. So we're going to start next time with the MIT slides. Go ahead and get everything downloaded and get ready, because we're about to blast off with Java. Thanks for listening. This is Mike Lively, and I'll see you next time.